I just time for this week's updates, previews, and we got some really cool mail I got to show you too. All right, last update I talked talk to you about, I had got a letter from um, Tube Tub about sending me a sample to try out. It's a floating sifter, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. We got it, are y'all ready? Pretty cool. Look at that. Look at this. Is that cool or what? I read a little quick letter from um, the inventors of it. It says, Thank you for all the wonderful YouTube video adventures. I enjoy them tremendously. My name is Paul Anthony and my hunting partner is TJ Smith. Together we have over 100 years of metal detectors here in Colorado. That's a lot of years there. It's inspired to see what other areas of our country have to offer. And the same thing here. You look out, see what they find out west, see what they find out east. It's kind of cool to see what everybody's finding. That is true. We developed the tube tub after many misadventures with homemade water sieves. Please give this tube tub a full workout and let us know what you think of it. Thank you, Paul Anthony and TJ Smith. And they know I'm going to test it out. I'll break it. If it can be broke, I'll break it. Because <laughs> I put stuff to the test. Now, uh, just you're looking at it right now. It looks indestructible. It really does. Uh, this thing here, the sieve part is about a quarter inch thick. I mean, you couldn't break it. Now, I, I do use the, um, the, the y'all see what I use in my super sifter, which is a little bit, it sifts maybe a little fast. I don't know, but this thing here, we're going to test it out. This thing is definitely tougher than what I use, no question about it. And y'all saw when I first started using my sifter, I used the floaties around it, and they all cracked and dry rotted and fell apart and, they, they, they just didn't work. That's why I went to the pipe, which this pretty much represents what I do on my super system, which I like a lot. And this, this is more indestructible than that, I think. So, it looks like this will float really well. It's, it's pretty light. It's not real heavy, which I like. Uh, it looks like you use it either way. This side here looks like you could put a lot more in it. And it's real tight fit around here. So, I think that's going to be good. The one thing I might recommend is maybe having a couple different types of size sieves in here, maybe a quarter inch and three eighths inch. I think this looks like probably about three eighths. That's a possibility in the future, but you could use this thing and put whatever you want in it, really, if you ever want to change your mind and do it. But it looks like this will be pretty nice. I, I'm really excited about trying it. It's probably a few weeks before I get out in the boat to try it. But what I might be doing, and what I think is, is going to be good for it, is fossils. You know, when you're out there in the streams looking for fossil shark's teeth, I think this would be perfect for that. So, I'm going to do some tests with that, too. They didn't promote it for that, but I think it's going to be good for that, too. So, we're going to check that out. Anyway, I wanted to show you that, and I can't wait to try it out. All right, next I'm going to read a couple of emails from a couple of my subscribers. Pretty cool. I pick out the best ones and let you listen to them here. All right, hi, Geek Master. I hope you had a great Christmas. Your videos are awesome, very helpful. I've learned so much from you. Thanks. I'm fairly new to Mel Tech and just bought Equinox 600 last spring. It has brought me hours of enjoyment so far. You know, that that's what makes it all worthwhile to me when I can see that my influence has had something where people have gone out and enjoyed life more. In this case, uh, this, they bought it and they just enjoy life. I like to see that. Uh, she goes in to tell me all the stuff she found. Uh, silver coins, buffalo coins, advertising token, buttons, Studebaker hubcap emblem, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, she went and told me all the stuff she hunted, she hunted local beaches. The hobby is so interesting and fun. And it is. Get outside, get some exercise. It's good. It's all good. Uh, anyway, she wants to buy one of my shirts here, so I'm working with her on that. Um, another one, Larry Hoyt. Uh, another subscriber says, I'm one of your subscribers and just thought you would enjoy my class ring return story. Today I met a gentleman who found my class ring after 26 years being lost. Larry found it a year ago while Mel taking it at Riverside Park in Legrand. And he goes into how this guy tried to find a person. And like I've told you, it's really hard sometimes. He searched all the shares in high schools, found the only, I guess it had CM on it, found the only CM at Sheridan High School. He went to the internet, Facebook, anyway, he found his sister, finally hunted him down and got a 26-year-old gold ring back to him. God works in mysterious ways. I'm very grateful for the generosity and commitment to returning this memento to me. It really means a lot. To some people really cherish that, those school rings and all. You know, the one that I um, sent back, you know, I told you on the last update, 
I have not heard back from him yet, so I'm waiting to hear back on that one. Hopefully, hopefully, guys, I'm going to need to check up on that one. Wonderful surprise this holiday season. Pretty cool. All right, next we're going to go into some uh, few little, uh, some mail come in from some people with a little presents in them. Let's check it out. First one is from, uh, let's see, I just wanted to send you a token of my appreciation. 2020 has been very tough for everyone, but thanks to you and a few others I follow on YouTube, I finally decided to get a metal detector. I spent the summer hunting my local parks. When I retire, I'm moving closer to the beach. Would love that you to take a moment to appreciate your surroundings. I love that you take a moment to appreciate your surroundings. And I did. I, I, I'm really thankful and grateful for what I got available to me and, and all the beautiful surroundings and just get out there and see nature. I love it. Anyway, he sent me a little present. Y'all know what this is? I, some of y'all already know what that is. That's a coil stiffener for the Equinox. Uh, everybody knows it's having the coil ears break off, but this is a stiffener for it. And hopefully this will kind of give it a little bit more support to hold it together to keep it from breaking. So, thank you, Mike. That's Mike H. Appreciate it, Mike. I would definitely use that. Uh, next, I got a letter from a girl named Adele. My friend Adele. Uh, she sent me a really pretty letter. She's got some personal stuff in it, so I won't read it all, but she thanked me for my videos and all. She made me a little present. Check this out. Gig Master, a, a sand snowman, it looks like, with Gig Master work. And she does have these, she's at an um, a Etsy site, Day and Night Crafts. Pretty cool. They, she makes some, I looked it up, and she does make some real pretty, pretty stuff. It's like a piece of slate. I'm not sure if it's from a roof or whatever she paints on them. Pretty cool. All right, and we got another present here from England. Are y'all ready to check that out? Let me help you get it. Stay tuned. All right, definitely my number one subscriber from Great Britain over there. I really appreciate it, Ian. He always sends me the coolest stuff. Y'all know this this mat that I show all my finds on. He sent me my mirror gig. Miss. It's endless, man. I really do appreciate it, and it makes my day when I see something coming from England over there. I tell you. But he sent me a, a whole box full of stuff. Nice little Christmas card with some nice notes in it here. Right there. Well, I won't read that all to you, but you know some of this is missing it. Um, this dairy milk chocolate. Oh, my God. That stuff will melt in your mouth. It's awesome. Uh, these are pretty cool. I've never seen these. Foot warmer insoles. You actually put them in there. I guess it's like the things you break, but you put the whole insole in there. To keep your feet warm. Now, that should really keep your feet warm on a cold day right there. I can't wait to try those out. That's be cool. Uh, I could have used these the other day. Sent me some uh, hose clamps. I could use those the other day. I was looking for that exact clamp the other day. <laughs> when I was putting uh, the uh, exit for my uh, bilge pump out there. A uh, little bit of mustard for my... Making up for my barbecue sauce. A few little gold coins. We'll be eating them though. Uh, and just a whole, whole, whole thing of just different presents from Great Britain. And sometimes they have some better stuff than we got over here. And even a little toilet paper. <laughs> Merry Christmas toilet paper. <laughs> you always use that. <laughs> Especially this day and time when it's hard to find. But anyway, I appreciate it, Ian. Thank you so much for the wonderful gift. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's move on to our next subject. I'll talk about the boat briefly because I got some videos coming out. I don't want to ruin the anticipation, but it's, it's looking good. A couple more things to do, but we're going to be running full speed here. Well, I ran full speed. I'll give you that clue. But anyway, it's coming along. Per I love it. I'm really happy what we got so far on that. A um, couple more things real quick. Um, I'm actually, you know, y'all know I got um, links. If you see below on YouTube last time, you can get my merchandise uh, like this at uh, teespring.com. But I'm working on several other things. They use the um, inkjet method to put on it, just like I do on this one. That's the inkjet right there. And it holds up pretty good. That's been a lot of washings right there and it's still showing up okay. But after a while, it will wash down. I'm trying some other things maybe to for quality. This is actually done right here with uh, vinyl. The machine actually cut the vinyl out and it's heated on here and vinyl doesn't fade out on it. So I'm testing, I'm gonna wash these and see how they work out. I'm going to also do some embroidered, it's real expensive, but I ordered some embroidered shirts. I'm going to try them too. 
Um, if y'all got any ideas, if y'all are interested in some, um, some of this merchandise, let me know. Put a comment down below uh, what you think about that. You know, the inkjet, the vinyl, embroidered. Let me know what you think about that. Because I'm kind of just now getting into it and seeing what I can come up with. Um, one more thing, if you want to help me, um, if you use my Amazon link in the video description, before you go buy anything on Amazon, you don't have to buy the item that's in my description, but if you use my link first before you go, I get credit, I appreciate that, because I'm always fixing stuff, buying something on my videos. You know, nothing's cheap out here this day and time, so it does help me if you do that on my Amazon link. I appreciate it. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap up this update. I think I bored y'all enough, Anna. All right, well, well, uh, we'll get out tomorrow. I already got plans for the next two days, three days, really. I got adventures for the next three days coming up. So, got some good stuff coming. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know where we're going next. I got a couple cool things coming up, so stay tuned.